What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I believe I have found, for me, for my personal use, the best Linux distribution when it comes to the GNOME desktop environment. So how did I set out on this path and what were my qualifications uh, or requirements out of this distribution? Well, as many of you know, I've been kind of distro hopping lately and I've been sticking to Ubuntu based distros because of how quickly and easily they can get set up and running. Uh, and it would allow me to be able to test different desktop environments uh, without having to do a lot of configuring. So uh, I've been somewhat pleased with my experience. I was running a Ubuntu 14.10, the GNOME edition, but I was experiencing um, sporadically over the last few days, some lockups in the shell um, some different errors within the Ubuntu base itself, not necessarily having to do with the GNOME end of things. And I wanted a more up-to-date version of um, GNOME. And in Ubuntu 14.10, it only ships with GNOME 3.12. So in order to do that, you've got to enable two or three additional um, PPAs. And even still, you're going to end up missing packages after you update your system. And things are going to be a little bit janky when it's all said and done. So, you know, I wasn't really happy with that. So I started looking and some of the requirements I had for this particular GNOME uh, distribution would be something that was fairly uh, simple and straightforward in terms of installation. I didn't want to have to take a lot of time. I didn't want to have to configure a whole lot of things. I wanted something that was going to be fairly automated out of the box for your basic needs, for anyone's basic needs. Uh, I wanted access to a large uh, software repository of the most commonly used Linux applications. Uh, I wanted the reliability of a solid base and a solid desktop. Um, and I also wanted something that was going to be um, really showcasing the most current up-to-date version of GNOME that's available without having to do a whole lot of work with additional repositories and so on and so forth. Um, so I believe I've found what is, in my opinion, um, the best GNOME Linux distribution for me. And without further ado, I'll show you guys when I'm running and I am running Fedora 21. I can't tell you how nice it is to be back on Fedora again. As many of you know, I did a, a switch to Fedora a couple years ago and I do have a video on my channel of that particular switch. Now, Fedora has been around for a very long time. There's a lot of uh, people who are very faithful to Fedora. There's a lot of people who hate Fedora. Um, Fedora requires a little bit more Linux knowledge uh, than Ubuntu does. It's not as user-friendly for the newbie. Uh, however, it is a very powerful distribution. A lot of um, the Fedo people that work on the Fedora team uh, actually do a lot of the contributions to the kernel itself. So a large number of the kernel developers are actually on the Fedora project. So you know the, the kernels that you get within Fedora are outstanding. Um, also, you know, Linus Torvalds himself uses Fedora. He's been using it for a long time. Uh, so it's, it's his distribution of choice. And a lot of the GNOME developers themselves are Fedora users. So, you know, for me, I feel now that I'm settling in and settling down with GNOME, I really feel like uh, Fedora is home for me. So uh, you'll be seeing some Fedora um, tutorials coming up. Uh, a lot of things, little things. Um, like font rendering, for example, tends to be an issue that I think I've got pretty much nailed down here in Fedora 21. Everything looks great. Um, the system is just incredibly fast. Um, everything is just extremely snappy. Uh, the installation process went through flawlessly. Um, everything is, you know, really, really up to date. So I'll show you guys here. GNOME 3.14.3. .3. And the other thing I wanted as well when I was looking for a GNOME distribution, I wanted a fairly unadulterated GNOME experience. And by that I mean I didn't want a distro messing around with the GNOME packages. I didn't want things customized. I didn't want things tweaked. I just wanted as vanilla of a GNOME experience as I could get. And uh, I understand that, you know, things like Arch or even Gen 2 are going to offer you a very vanilla, even more so vanilla experience. 
here than Fedora. But in terms of all the other qualifications I had, you know, I find that Fedora offers me the most vanilla, unadulterated GNOME experience while also meeting all the other requirements and needs that I had for a distribution. So, you know, again, I don't have to enable tons of different repositories to get an up-to-date version of GNOME. When the next stable release of GNOME uh, is available, again, Fedora makes that uh, available in the repositories very quickly. You don't have to wait a whole heck of a long time uh, when you're running Fedora to get access to the newer version of GNOME. Uh, it's released and made available, available fairly quickly. I don't know if you remember, but initially when GNOME 3 uh, first came out, uh, the two distros that got it first were Fedora and OpenSUSE. So, um, you know, I, I feel like this is going to be a great home for me uh, for the near future. So I'm going to be using Fedora. I'm going to be doing a bunch of Fedora tutorials. For those of you that have been on Ubuntu for a long time but may kind of be unhappy, um, you've gotten some Linux experience under your belt and you want to try something different, um, Fedora may be a great chance uh, for you to do that and hopefully some of my tutorials can help get you up and running. I'll be covering things like um, how to install multimedia uh, codecs, get Flash up and running, um, MP3 support, uh, video support, um, font rendering issues, um, basic terminal commands, how to migrate from an Ubuntu-based system using apt to a Fedora-based system using yum. Um, they're very, very similar. So, uh, and, and yum actually, in my opinion, is more versatile than apt. There's a lot of amazing things that you can do with yum that you cannot do with apt. And I'm a huge fan of, of the package manager. So anyway, um, as of right now, for me, uh, Fedora is the best GNOME experience. Um, meeting all of the qualifications that I'm looking for. And, you know, Fedora 21, Fedora in general, I think, has come a long way. I know um, there's been some issues with it in the past, and there's kind of a, 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 a crowd of people that aren't huge fans of Fedora. I've always really appreciated the project. I think what they do for the Linux community as a whole and the things that they've done in, in terms of contributions has been great. Um, so I'm happy to be back on Fedora again. Things are running beautifully, and um, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment below on your thoughts of Fedora, your thoughts of how you're feeling about Ubuntu right now if you're running Ubuntu, um, your thoughts on GNOME Shell. Um, I'd like to hear what you think. So leave a comment in the comment section below. And until next time, we'll talk to you guys later.